So guys, today I got for you another this or that episode because first of all you really seem to enjoy the previous one and second of all I had lots of fun filming it. But this time it's gonna be twisted just a little bit because not I will be choosing from your perfumes. Instead I want you to help me choose one fragrance from five past I will present you in this video. So definitely keep on watching for more details. Don't forget to subscribe if you're here for the first time and please give this video a huge thumbs up if you would like to see more episodes like this. And once you're done with that we can get started. Hello and welcome everyone to today's chatty this or that episode and as I've already said it's gonna be twisted just a little bit as suggested by one of my subscribers. This time you will help me to make a decision which fragrance should I purchase from 10 I will ask you about. So without any further ado, let me just apply some fragrance because I'm not wearing one and I have the sample of this mercurial cashmere from Electimus London that I discovered for myself in Milan. And in case you are already familiar with this collection, please let me know what's your favorite from it because there are so many. And in case you want to know what I think about them, please let me know. But on that note, we can dive right into it and get Let's start with the first pair and it's going to be about a musk and the first one is the newest release from Narciss Rodriguez and it's the Forever Fragrance and I have great experience with this collection, have two fragrances, Musk Noir and Musk Noir Rose, I love both of them, sold them to lots of my friends and family members because I feel like this musk is like no other, so sexy like your second skin but better because there is some great perfume on it and in case I'm in the mood for something very sexy and I want to wear a designer fragrance I'm always reaching out for this one that's why I'm really excited for this new release that seems to be quite floral because in there we have gardenia, jasmine, tuberose, orange flowers so really big floral notes but also some yellow ones like principani or smanthus and everything is on the musky base so I think it's gonna be in Narsa Rodriguez style and I really like that style plus I like this bottle a lot, but uh, talking about musky fragrances, there has been one on my wish list that I've been wanting to get for a long time, and it's not from a designer brand, from niche brand, so it's more pricey, but it's something so particular because musk in there is like no other. It smells juicy, it smells really bright and fresh, and I love the fruitiness that pops in there and the beautiful magnolia note that smells just like this nice wet spring flower. And in case you haven't guessed which reference that is yet, uh, that's obviously Musk Therapy by Initia. But the thing is, I have a sample of a dupe for this perfume from Divan Fragrances that smells almost exactly the same and this perfume is so pricey that I just don't know which one should I purchase. Something that has been on my wish list, something I know I love, something I want in the original format or something that I think I will enjoy a lot and will get lots of use out of it plus it is more affordable so I can actually get maybe another fragrance for the coast of let's say just that musk therapy so I would really appreciate if you could just vote is it Nurse Rodriguez forever or is it musk therapy initial perfumes go ahead drop a comment and while you're doing so we are moving on to the big floral pair and the one I want to get started with is Juliet has a guns in US release that is called last for some and no I don't have it yet you really want to. So I have this lipstick fever which bottle really reminds me of the new U one and that's my only complaint about it. They should change color so if you own multiple fragrances in this bottle design you won't be confused which one is which. Please let me know if you understand what I'm talking about but the fragrance seems to be really big floral. We have some serious uh, white flowers like gardenia, jasmine, orange blossom and freesia in there but also my favorite Elaine Elaine that gives me tropical vibes so with coconut I feel like it's gonna be even more summery and everything is on the ambroxany musky vanilla base so I think it's gonna be very sexy in the dry down and I like this brand a lot but I also really like this next fragrance I want to put it um, against and it is Chloe's newest flanker. Oh, my favorite flanker of the fragrance Noma that's called Oh Parfum Naturel and the new is gonna be a jasmine take on this gorgeous fruity floral fragrance that to me 
Personally, it smells just like banana bubble gum. So happy, so bright. I love it. It's fantastic. And if the new release is going to be more jasmine and floral, I think it's going to be lovely too. But I literally can't decide between these two. So which one would you get? Is it Juliet has a gun last for some? Because it's going to be like a perfect summery perfume. Or is it a flanker of something that you or me already enjoy? So let's move on to something more sexy and uh, the first fragrance is Arabian Stonka by Montal that has been on my to buy list for years and years and I still want to put out the video about my Montal's top favorites. Let me know if you're still interested in it because some of my most popular videos on my channel are about Montal perfumes and I have lots of them but Arabian Stonka should be on the top favorites list in the biggest full size oil because it looks so pretty and captures the DNA of this brand perfectly with their signature notes like rose, oud, amber, it's oriental, but there is also the most addictive touch of Baccarat Rouge in there and as you might remember, I'm personally not the biggest fan of this fragrance by any means, but so many people do love it and I feel they put the most addictive part of Baccarat Rouge in this fragrance, but uh, once again, I have a dupe and it's from One Parfums and yes, it does smell just like the fragrance indeed, so I'm kind of like, do I need it? Maybe not so much, but uh, I feel like um, for that video it's necessary because it's such a huge favorite. However, there is something else, not necessarily as heavy, luxurious and sexy, it's more romantic. That is called On a Date by May Smart Margiela and I love this new release because although scent-wise they are very different, the occasion where I would wear them is similar. It's like this beautiful romantic setup and in On a Date we also have rose and oak moss, so they could be shipwrecks but not really and uh, you know what? I think in um, on the date, this light uh, bubbly booziness that lifts it a little bit and it's more wearable. So just in case you needed to decide, is it Arabian Stonka or is it on a date, which one would you go for? Maybe you can actually comment below which fragrance would suit me better. And while you're doing so, we are moving on to the fruity pair and I've smelled these fragrances in Milan and enjoyed both of them. But first, let's talk about Tom Ford's ever so popular Lost Cherry. There are two new flankers and although I thought I would enjoy the smoky one more, I was so impressed with the electric cherry because it was brighter and fresher than Lost Cherry that is more like this cherry liqueur and electric cherry smells like real cherries picked from the tree so they were really fruity tart and just yummy fresh a little bit spicy but so expensive and something else also fruity absolutely new and truly special because this new fragrance by Mancera is not even out yet is of the wild that I smelled at Montal's boutique and uh, only because I asked for it, they actually brought me from, you know, the store because it's uh, not even on the display yet and it was fantastic. The fruity part doesn't come from cherry but strawberry and pear and although pear has been popular for quite a few years now, strawberry is having a moment and I really like that. My first impression was, wow, I love the powderiness, the freshness, the juiciness. Um, it's a yummy fragrance that smells elegant, so it's also more affordable than electric cherry. I think I will go for this one, but I would really like to know which one would you choose. And finally, last but not least, are gourmands. And both fragrances are based on the note of pistachio that is uh, getting in. And I like that because it's a very nice note that you can push and pull on and play with all the different nuances of it. It can be salty, sweet, uh, can add nice texture. And the fragrance that has made quite some noise in the fragrance community is definitely Young Pistachio Gelato by Cagliari that I smelled in Milan. In Italy, which it was inspired by, you know, going to the Italian gelato shop and there is the accord of ice cream in the fragrance and so many 
are the sweet notes like lookum, cotton candy, marshmallow, rum, hazelnut and whipped cream on everything that's sweet, that's floral and that's somehow not too much. So I really enjoyed that, wore it on a very special night out and uh, it was just like a happy scent. But something else with pistachio that's like a totally different take on this note is the newest fragrance from Hermes from their Unhardin collection that is called Ah, Catherine, if I'm not wrong, or something like that. Please correct my pronunciation. And uh, it smells like you're in the nature smelling the pistachio tree. So there is greenery, the woodsiness, and this nice note of pistachio that brings in like this more of mysterious um, element. It's not like right away, straight in your face, gourmand. It is more, you know, like um, laid back and it would be perfect for summer. And I have no fragrances from Hermes, so I think it would be really nice to start my collection um, of their perfumes with this one. So I would really like to know which review you would rather see. The one on Yum Pistachio, because it's so popular and everyone goes crazy about it because the marketing campaign is so successful for it. Or is it something a little bit more elegant like the one from Hermes? please let me know and I would really appreciate if you could just go ahead and drop a comment down below choosing one fragrance from each pair shared with you. That would be extremely helpful. So don't forget it's an interactive video. If you have any questions left, I'm here to answer them and uh, in case you want to see another this or that episode, let me know which concept you prefer when I ask you which fragrance should I buy or when I choose one perfume you ask me about. So don't forget to subscribe, give the video a huge thumbs up. All the helpful information is down below. Feel free to purchase perfumes with my discounts, that would be helpful. And if you don't want me to choose which fragrance to buy, you want to support me, you can always donate on Buy Me Coffee website. And make sure to stay tuned and smell good. We'll see each other next one really soon. Bye guys!